Hey guys, welcome to another video for Anatomy and Physiology. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the muscles that control eye movement. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're looking at the muscles that control eye movement. There's six muscles that we're going to be looking at. Um, there are six extrinsic muscles, eye muscles. Extrinsic meaning uh, they're on the outside as opposed to intrinsic um, muscles, the ones that control the uh, pupils, for example, that um, allow you to allow the eye to dilate and to and constrict. Uh, those muscles you have no control over. Your brain has full control of those. But the extrinsic muscles, you have full conscious control of those. You determine whether you're looking up, down, left, right, up, down, you know, whatever the case may be. And there's six of those muscles that we're going to be looking at today, and I'll have them listed right here. Now, these muscles, or the eye, the eye itself is encased in an orbit, okay? Um, it's, you've got a medial wall, you've got a roof, you've got a lateral wall, and then you've got the floor, the maxilla, okay? So you have the cranial cavity, the, the cranial, uh, the facial bones that, that pretty much create that, that orbital cavity where the eye sits. And the muscles are kind of surrounding the eye. So let's take a look at that. So we're looking at the eye muscles here. And the first one that we're going to look at, well, the first four, I, I like to kind of split these muscles up into two main categories. Um, the first category is the, the rectus muscles. These are the more predictable muscles. These are easily explained as far as what eye movement they do. So you'll notice that on your on your left screen, on the left side of the screen, you're gonna have the eye and the muscles, and on the right, and the, the right orbital cavity, you have the, the eye missing. And actually, let me show you one thing before we get started. Two things that are not actually technically eye muscles, but this one right here, okay? This particular um, tendon, this tendon ring, this is called the annulus of Zen. This is where five of those muscles originate. The uh, other one, your inferior oblique, does not originate there. It actually originates on the floor of the maxilla right here. That you can see right there. All right. And then there's another tendon that's right here that is not shown. Okay. That's your uh, trochlea. Okay. That's a trochlear tendon. And that, as you can see, acts as kind of a... Um, as an anchor for the muscle for your superior oblique, but it's not actually shown here. All right, so let's go ahead and step into the uh, muscles. So the first category is the rectus muscles. These are the more predictable ones. The first one is your superior rectus. So with the superior rectus, again, you look, uh, as it contracts, it helps you to look, to, to look upward, to look superiorly. And then you can predict the inferior rectus. When this muscle contracts, it helps you to look inferiorly, look downward. Okay, so your gaze goes down. And then the lateral rectus, you look laterally, right? So when the lateral eye is engaged in one eye, the medial is engaged. So for example, if I'm looking to my right, uh, on my right eye, the lateral rectus contracts while the medial relaxes, the antagonist. And on my left eye, again, I'm looking right now, if on my left eye, then the medial rectus contracts and my lateral rectus, the dead antagonist, uh, relaxes. So it's kind of this really interesting symphony going on where your brain is coordinating your muscle movements, contraction and relax, uh, relaxation to um, focus your gaze in, this, in a particular direction. Uh, otherwise, your eyes kind of like, a, uh, kind of like a, a lizard could look in all kinds of directions. Uh, we do not have that ability though. So, uh, or was I lateral rectus and then your medial rectus? Your cross, you can do cross-eyed. Okay, if they're both engaged, then you can look cross-eyed, right? So that that puts your gaze medially towards the middle, and then the two that are not quite as predictable: your superior oblique and inferior oblique. Uh, the fact that there's an O in the name, oblique, just think that O means opposite in terms of the action of that particular muscle. And what I mean by that, with your superior oblique, for example, that helps you to look down, uh, down and, and in, or down and out, actually. Okay, so your superior oblique, superior, it looks you, helps you look down and out. Okay, whereas your inferior oblique helps you to look 
up and out. All right, so they both help you to look laterally, uh, but one down and one up. So inferior oblique helps you to look up and out, and superior oblique helps you to look down and out. That's your hobo muscle, if you were, if you will, hobo beating down and out. Um, yeah, maybe that's not the best example, but uh, either way, it helps you to look down and out, your superior oblique. Okay, well, um, that does it for all the muscles in the eye. Okay, and um, oh, remember, keep in mind that uh, the only muscle that is not connected to your um, to your annulus of Zen is your inferior oblique. Okay, all the other ones have the same, pretty much the same point of origin. All right, well, I hope this video helped. Um, good luck in your studying.